the snag concept. Here's Ross Tucker to break it down for us in our anatomy of a play. All right, fellas, today we're going to look at a three-man passing game concept known as the snag. If it's man-to-man, -man, forget about it. You're going to the inside receiver. You're running the seven route, also known as a corner. If it is a zone coverage, that guy's pretty much out of the equation, and you're going to see how the defenders that are in the flat play the zone coverage and either go to the receiver we're going to take a quick vertical stem then come inside on a curl and then the other receiver this could be a tight end this could be a back out of the backfield it could be another receiver they're going to go on the flat so the quarterback he is reading this triangle right here to see how the zone defenders react to it. If this zone defender goes out with the flat, he's going to bang it to the wide receiver right there who's settling between the two zone defenders right there in the hook curl zone. That is the snag three-man pass concept. Great job, Ross, bringing it down for us on the whiteboard. Let's take a look at it here on video versus the Carolina Panthers a couple weeks ago. Now, what you're going to have is this bunch set between Jordan Matthews, Zach Ertz, and Jeremy Macklin. Macklin's going to run what we call the seven route here. Ertz is in the middle here, and you're going to get Matthews going to the flat. Now, at the snap of the ball, what Mark Sanchez will read is where these three guys here, how they're being defended. What you're going to notice is you got this corner who's playing cover three on the outside. Mark sees that you got this inside safety basically there to help on Zach Ertz if he comes in there. And on the outside, Mark quickly realizes that Jordan Matthews is matched up on Charles Johnson a defensive end slash outside linebacker here on the outside. Great job of Mark reading it. Nice throw over Charles Johnson and Jordan Matthews. And then you watch Jordan Matthews after the catch break several tackles here to get in for the touchdown. The Eagles have had a lot of success with the snag concept. I would expect to see a lot more of this for the remainder of the season.